Uh, I'm going to speak to you today about a new approach for treating and managing prostate cancer that you probably uh, have not heard about. And that is the focal therapy of prostate cancer, or what we call a male lumpectomy. Prostate cancer it, to a man is very similar to breast cancer uh, for a woman. And uh, in breast cancer management about 25 years ago, um, the idea of a lumpectomy, just treating the, or removing the uh, breast cancer itself and leaving the breast intact was put forth. This was very controversial uh, at the time. The treatment at the time was a radical mastectomy for almost all patients. And the idea that you just remove the lump uh, and leave the rest of the breast uh, raised a lot of controversy. Uh, the uh, doctors lined up on both sides of the issue and uh, want the one side saying that uh, a lot of women are going to die needlessly because uh, this is not going to take care uh, of the problem. Well, we're now 25 years later and with hindsight we can see that the uh, physicians who advocated just lumpectomy uh, were right. Uh, we have found that you can remove a breast cancer, leave the breast remaining, and uh, do equivalent in terms of survival for those patients with obviously much less morbidity and disfigurement. Well, where are men right now in the process? Well, men are where women were 25 years ago. The main treatment for prostate cancer besides radiation is radical prostatectomy, the full removal of the gland. And that's removal of the gland no matter what type of cancer you have. So you could have almost a microscopic focus of cancer and you're having your whole gland removed. Is that necessary? Well, about 12 years ago we asked that question. We started basically just treating the localized cancer in some patients. And if you look at the pathology literature of prostates that have been removed, about 30% of men have only a single cancer and the rest of their gland is normal. 40% more have a main cancer and then an insignificant cancer somewhere else. So actually the majority of men, based on the pathology, might be an excellent candidate for just killing the cancer. What we uh, used was first a staging procedure. We used that 3D mapping biopsy to determine exactly where the cancer is. And if you haven't uh, seen that segment, um, I suggest you go back to it so that you can understand how you can know exactly where cancer is uh, in a prostate gland. Once we have that information, we can take uh, a freezing probe or some other method and just, just destroy that cancer and leave the rest of the gland. You can't remove a portion of a prostate gland. It's not technically feasible. And there's no way of just irradiating a single portion because radiation, uh, by definition, uh, scatters. And so you had to come up with a different way. We used freezing to start out with. Why did we use freezing? Because we had shown already that cryosurgery in prostate cancer was in a very effective method for killing cancer. At the time, we were treating the whole gland, and that uh, did have uh, greater problems associated with it in terms of uh, some complications, although it was a very effective cancer treatment. So uh, we uh, went ahead and used the freezing to focus in just on the cancer and just kill the cancer.